Hello everyone, Josh from Collection DX here with another review. This is another Knifeleys kit. This is Tactical Armor Red Mayfly. And actually something I noticed here is that this is a decal. So just to save on the boxes, they it's the same box otherwise than the decal, but the illustration is killer. Uh, on the back, it's, it just shows you all the details of the different weaponry and different ones and its own, you know, Barco. These kits are a steal, 25 bucks. Comes with a nice instruction book, nice and glossy. This info in the beginning is the same on all the kits, but this, it, as you get in a little bit, this is unique to this model. And it tells you a little about the, uh, the mech made of Titan II Ally, which is produced by the Saturn Economy Union. So there's a whole story, I guess. This is the TR-213SR Red Mayfly medium range fire support mech. Uh, so it's, you know, cool looking. It's got a machine gun and uh, it goes into the howitzer and a shield. So there's a lot of like information about this mech, right? With a little backstory. Once you get into the building, you'll note that there's no like used baggy one here. So you gotta sort all the parts, but there's only 600 parts, so it's not too bad. And then you get to the end here and there's a posing is very important. Uh, this is the same thing at the, uh, of each book. It's to see, use these the same kit to show you. All right, so what I've done here is now sorted parts into different containers. And I'm going to build it. But I wanted to show you that, I mean, the, all the pieces are very small. The gray ones get, a, like, this is the largest piece in the set. The, the four, two by four. But otherwise, there's a lot of flat panels, a lot of single brick studs. Um, these, your joint work largely comes out of those. Um, your structure out of these, details, etc. So you can kind of see what we're dealing with here. We're gonna do it, we're gonna build it, a little time lapse, and we'll come back and talk about the completed mech. Here is the final robot. Uh, it looks great. I'm a little sick, so I'm not gonna talk too much here, but uh, some of the same techniques as the other mechs, but basically different, you know, which is nice. Uh, you can still see there's some similar head construction here using battle droid parts, but this one has in this antenna. Uh, again, fully movable, has the nice uh, sh pivoting shoulders. So you've got, you know, uh, hinge, ball joint, ball joint wrist, movable fingers. This nice movable um, shield here, a little movable panels, which is kind of interesting. Has a built-in gun under the arm. This piece moves a little bit here. You've got movable missile banks. And then you've got this great movable gun. It's really cool, and both on the same kind of joint system. These hip pieces, hips, skirt hip pieces, I guess, kind of pop that they're, they're not really they just move around right so you can kind of move them whatever you want i think this is really because of the you see where the hip joint is so you could if you really want to pose this you can kind of move them out of the way but easy enough to put back you can do it out rear skirt pieces that move there your legs are pretty pretty good pretty basic there is some movement on these skirt parts which is interesting you get a little shin piece but the legs are kind of thin you yeah, another problem it works with this back guy it's just a thing you have a nice rifle here on this side movable fingers and i don't know if you can see it but you're actually kind of holding on to the the gun here with the the thumb plugs in and you can hold on to it so that's pretty cool there's a ab crunch in the chest. Overall, it's really great. But I'm going to let the pictures do the rest of the talking here because, uh, like I said, I am not feeling well. So I'm going to 
to take some video and pictures and you, you can enjoy it. This is Josh from CollectionDX.com. We'll see you next time.